Hey guys, Entity from Deuces Cracked here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the basics of expected value and showing you how to do some simple EV calculations. You'll see these used frequently in many of our videos, so it's very important to know how to do them on your own away from the table. Expected value, also known as EV, is what we expect to win or lose over the long run in a given situation. You calculate this by taking the sum of all possible outcomes of a hand and calculating the amount won or lost in each of these sets of outcomes. Basic EV calculations make use of our pot equity to figure out expected value on a given hand. Simply put, we need to know our chances of winning a hand in order to calculate our expected value. In order to do an expected value calculation, you need to know a few things. The size of the pot, our opponent's hand range, our pot equity in the hand, and the amount that we are risking to win the pot. The basic formula you can use for expected value calculations is Expected value is pot equity times pot size minus one minus pot equity times the amount that you risk or your bet size. Here's a simple example. We're playing one, two, no limit hold'em and we have $200 effective stacks. We have ace, 10 of hearts and the board is ace of clubs, nine of hearts, eight of hearts. Our opponent holds jack, 10 of clubs. There's $80 in the pot. Our opponent checks, we bet $60 and our opponent check raises all in. Let's calculate the expected value of a call here. In this example, we're dealing with one specific hand that our opponent can have, but we can also calculate this if we know his entire hand range. In this case, his hand range is exactly jack-10 of clubs, since we know his hand. There's $340 in the pot, and we are risking $140 to call. Our equity is 78%. Using the formula I presented earlier, pause the video and see if you can calculate the expected value of a call. Okay, we're back. Once you plug in the variables, the EV calculation for this looks like this. EV equals 0.78, that's our equity, times $340, minus 1 minus 0.78, that's our opponent's pot equity, or 0.22, times $140. You can see that we have an expectation of earning $234.40 over the long run. Keep in mind, of course, that this doesn't mean that we're always going to win the pot. If we play this hand a million times, our average profit is likely to come out at about $234.40 per hand. When you hear someone say, I made a profitable call, now you see why it isn't synonymous with, I made money on that call. As a poker player, you need to condition yourself to focus on the long-term results of a play rather than the short-term results. I hope this has been a helpful illustration of how to do expected value calculations. Initially, EV calculations start out very simple. But as you start to add more variables, like fold equity and wider hand range distributions, they become significantly more complex. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the forums. This has been Entity for Deuces Cracked, signing off.